Universal Audio has recently released three major updates around Luna. These are going to improve how we use Luna, improve our workflow, our speed, and all those kinds of things. One update people have been requesting over and over, and we finally have it now. Two of these are ones that I've been waiting for for quite a while, and with these updates, Luna's probably jumped to that number one spot as my go-to recording software. So the first update is we can now have our activations for our native plugins and our apps on our computer. We don't need an internet connection or an iLock or anything like that anymore. So if our internet goes out or we want to keep our computer offline, we can have all of our activations on our computer and actually up to three different devices. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to update our UA Connect. I actually have not done this yet, so I thought we'd just kind of walk through it together. So it's going to ask you to update right here and we choose OK. All right, so now that my UA Connect is updated and I actually just updated all my plugins, wasn't gonna make you watch that. This pops up, activate on your computer. Um, you can choose remind me later. Uh, I understand that you can do that twice and on the third time, it's gonna kind of make you continue, but we're gonna go ahead and choose continue for now and activate on your computer. And you can see it says your perpetual UAD plugin activations have been moved from iLock Cloud to local host machine. Hit OK. So now all my plugins are updated and I have the activation for my native plugins and apps on my computer. Again, the Spark does not apply here because it's a subscription, so it works a little bit differently. So there we go. Again, this is another one that a lot of people have been requesting and asking for, and that's how we do it. Pretty simple process. All right, so the second update is one that I'm personally very excited about. It's really gonna help my workflow and probably help out yours too, and that is the plugin manager. So if you're anything like me, you have this list of plugins over here and you do not need all of them to be showing. For me, these Apple ones here, I do not use these for any of my audio stuff. I use a couple for video, but nothing for audio. And there's some other demo ones and stuff here that I do not want to have showing up here. Well, now we can get rid of those if we want to and we can manage all of our plugins. So if we jump over here to manage plugins, pulls up our plugin tab, and we have a lot of cool things going on here. First of all, uh, the audio units enable button right here is lit up. So it's showing my audio units plugins that I use. If I click that and disable that, it's going to hide those and just show my universal audio ones. We want to make sure that is on. Uh, right here is a new option is the VST3. So now VST3 plugins can be used on Mac inside of Luna. Uh, do note that currently it is in beta. So, you know, you may have some little functionality issues maybe, but if you want to, you can enable that and you can see now VST3 plugins show up in our list. All of my plugins I use have an AU version, so I'm gonna leave that turned off, but I do know that some of you have some plugins you use that only come as a VST3 option, so now you can add that in. Uh, we can scan for new plugins or rescan all of our plugins. So if we do some updates or install new plugins, they're not showing up on our list, you can rescan them from right here. We can open up UA Connect, or they've made it nice and convenient for us to go to the plugin store and buy more plugins. How thoughtful, right? Uh, we can come over here and we can search for plugins we want to manage. So CLA, if I want to do like a mix hub or whatever, I can do that right there. And we can come over here and we can rescan these individually if we want to. It gives us some information about our plugins. And this is the part right here that I'm really excited about. I do not need all these Apple plugins. So we have this ignore column and we can just click and remove these individually, or we can click and drag if we have a long list like this that we need to get rid of. And we're gonna go all the way down here and I'm actually gonna get rid of this audio assault bass locker one too because that was a demo from another video. I do not need it in my list. Now we've checked all those boxes. If we come over here, you can see it still shows. Even if we kind of refresh this a little bit, they're still showing. I have found that I actually need to quit Luna and restart it and then they will be gone. It would be nice if they just automatically disappeared, but it's not that big of a deal because you're not going to be doing this all the time. So if we reopen my session right here, you'll see that Apple and Audio Salt are now gone. So I could go around and clean up the rest of my plugins as needed. So that's a very welcome feature. Another great plugin manager feature feature I want to show you real quick is we have this category stuff going on right here. You notice over in our session, we have these categories right here and we can choose to filter by category. So if I have guitar and bass right here, let's scroll down 
and we'll look at that's right here amplitude right here you can see the category is currently set to none so it's not going to show up any of those filters but i can click on that and choose guitar and bass choose done and if we come back over here to our session and say so I click off of that and click back on. Now you can see Amplitude shows up and I can add it here. So you can recategorize, change the categories, whatever you want for each of these plugins so they can show up how you would like when you filter those out. So super convenient, super handy for cleaning up that plugin list because personally, I like to keep mine nice and short and lean uh, if at all possible. So that's a very welcome update. All right, so now the third update is another one that I was really excited for and been waiting for for a long time. And that is if we come up here to Luna, you can see now we can set keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm using all kinds of different applications, Luna, Studio One, Final Cut Pro for video editing, Photoshop, all these different things. And I gotta keep all these keyboard shortcuts in my head and it gets kind of hard after a while. But you can see right here, we have different templates already set up for us. So if you're used to Studio One shortcuts, you can use Studio One. If you're used to Pro Tools, you can use Pro Tools, etc. right? We're gonna keep it on Luna default for now. We can choose Customize, and once we choose Customize, we, it'll pull up this window for us, and now we have all of our shortcuts here, and we can switch these around, change them, alter them, whatever we wanna do, and if we want to, we can save it as a new preset. So you could do like a Luna Modified or something like that if you want to. You can do search filters right here, you can search right here. They have this drop down right here. So like the enter button and stuff like that, you can choose that to filter on because if you were to type that, it would do like a field input kind of thing. It'd go ahead and submit or those kinds of things. So those kinds of buttons are right here for you to use for filtering. So that's handy. If you want to add a shortcut, maybe for this Luna documentation right here, we're gonna open up the documentation with a shortcut so we can easily and quickly reference that. Maybe something like Command D for documentation might make sense, right? So hit Command D right here and we get this red highlight over this. You can see this column right here that says conflicts. That's letting us know that this shortcut is already assigned to something and it's assigned to duplicate selection. So we can scroll down here and see where that is. So if we wanted to, we could just clear it out of here if we don't want to do duplicate selection, but we probably don't want to do that. So we can come back up here and change this to something else or we can hit this little X and just clear it out. So lots of options going on here with filtering, searching, and all that kind of stuff. Another Another great way to use this is you can actually just scroll through here and see all the different shortcuts that are available to you. But not only that, there's other things in here that don't have shortcuts, but maybe they're features you didn't know that Luna could do. So you could go, huh, I wonder what monitor correction show hide is, right? And you go look into the documentation and find out about that and maybe learn about some features that are helpful for you that you didn't even know about. Now, I know a lot of people still want more features added to Luna as good as it is. A lot of the things I see are around MIDI editing, some more robust features around there. You can already do a lot with MIDI, but people are wanting more. Don't forget that you can go to the top right and uh, request a feature or provide feedback Universal Audio is pretty responsive with those things. But let me know in the comments down below if you use Luna, what else would you like to see added to Luna? And if you're new to Luna and haven't really used it before, make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to record a song from start to finish, setting up a session all the way to exporting and ready for Spotify and Apple Music and all that kind of stuff. It's everything you need to know to get started.